Hello everyone and welcome to the Earth Lecture for our course Irrigation Engineering Hydraulic Structures. As we have discussed in our previous lecture, lecture number 7, we have discussed some important terms related to design capacity of irrigation canal, right? So in today's video, in lecture number 8, we are going to start the numerical problems. In this video, we will solve our first problem and this problem is going to be totally dependent upon the terms we have discussed in the previous video if you have not listened to the uh, listened to the previous video i recommend you to to first listen to the lecture number 7 and then things will become easier for you to understand this problem okay so the problem we got here today is the cca Cultivable command area is given to us the cultivable command area for a distributary. We already know what is cultivable command area. If you go to the lecture number 7 and you will know the definition of distributary too in our previous lectures. So the uh, cultivable command area for a distributary is given as 2 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 8 meter square. And the IOI is 40%. Uh, we also know what is IOI. For this too, you need to go to the lecture number 7 to understand. So, IOI given to us is intensity of irrigation. IOI means intensity of irrigation given to us is 40%. And if the core depth, core depth is given to us and the period is given to us. If the core depth and period for the crop is 14 centimeter and 4 weeks respectively, then what is the peak demand discharge? So, core depth is given to us which is delta and period is given to us time period which is b okay we represent it with b so for all these terms to understand you need to go to lecture number seven that was the reason we have uh, discussed all these terms already in lecture number seven to make things easier so these are given to us 14 centimeter in four weeks because depth is always in centimeters and period is in days so, uh, period is given to us as 4 weeks, we will convert that 4 weeks into uh, days, which is 28 days. So, what we, we, we are asked to find, then we are asked to find what is the peak demand discharge. Peak demand discharge, as we have already discussed that peak demand discharge means design discharge. Okay. Because whenever we design a canal, we design canal on its peak demand discharge value, right? So, actually we are asked here to find out the design discharge. So, the first thing we need to do while solving any numerical problem is that we need to list down the given data as we are given as given with CCA, cultivable command area, which is 2 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 8 meter squares. The second thing given to us is IOI, which is intensity of irrigation, which is 40%. And depth is given to us delta, which is 14 centimeters. And period B is given to us, which is for 4 weeks, which means 28 days. So this is given to us and we are asked to find peak demand discharge. Peak demand discharge means we need to find In other terms, you can say that we need to find design discharge. Okay. Design discharge means we need to find Q design. This is what we are asked to find. So, if you have listened to the previous lecture, you will know that we have discussed a formula in which we have uh, mentioned the relationship between uh, delta and duty, right? Do you remember that? What was the relationship between delta and duty? That was uh, as we know that duty is equal to this is duty, right? Or you can say duty on capacity. Duty is equal to a 0, 4 multiply by B which is period divided by delta. This was the relationship between duty and delta. So, 
another formula in this case was let's say this is equation number one this is duty right duty on capacity and another formula which we have discussed was duty on capacity was equal to a divided by q design okay so a is area to be irrigated what is a a is equal to area to be irrigated the area which we are supposed to irrigate is a and qd is equal to design discharge or design capacity right so this is what we are supposed to uh, find this is our target value which we are supposed to find but to find out this one we first need to find we must know a we must know d we must know b we must know all these things right then we can find it out so we already have the value of b right we got this one we got delta value and we will replace this d with this term a divided by q d but we do not have the value of area to be irrigated so first we need to find a then we can find the value so one more step we need to do before um, finding the qd is that equation write down this is equation number two put uh, values of equation number two into one can we do that because d is equal to a divided by q naught right duty on capacity so we can replace this duty on capacity with this one what we are going to do we are going to replace this with this one so equation 1 will become when you put values of equation 2 in equation 1 equation 1 will become what a divided by q design which is equal to 804 b divided by delta right this is the equation and when you try to simplify this equation further because we need to find out qd right so try to convert this in the form of qd it will become qd is equal to a multiplied by delta divided by a 0 4 b am i right so this is what we are supposed to find q design but for q design we need all these variables values of all these variables we already got the value of delta we have b but we do not have a what is a we uh, we already said that a is the area to be irrigated so for that we got a formula let's name this as equation number 3 area to be irrigated is equal to cultivable command area multiply by intensity of irrigation this is again a term which we have discussed in the previous video so cultivable command area we already have the value of cultivable command area which is 2 multiply by 10 raised to the power 8 given to us mirror squares multiply by iowa is 40 percent given to us 40 percent means 40 divided by 100 got it so when you solve this area to be irrigated this is going to be 8 multiply by 10 raised to the power 7 meter squares 
if you want to convert into it into hectares because we need the values in hectares so the relationship between hectare and meter square is that one you know, one hectare is equal to 10 raised to the power 4 meter square so this area to be irrigated will become 8000 hectares got it so the value of area to be irrigated is 8000 now equation 1 we can put all the values in equation 1 because we got all the values required we now we have the a2 so let's put all these values into equation number uh, 3 equation number 3 will become now equation number 3 will become as q design is equal to a delta divided by a 0 4 b right this will become let's just put the values q design will be equal to a is 8000 hectares multiply by delta what was the value of delta given to us delta is given to us as 14 centimeters and b is 28 days right let's put them delta given to us is 14 centimeters and then divide by 804 multiply by b b is given as 28 days okay so what is uh, the value of q when you call calculate these values you will get q as 4.629 4.629 meter cube per second so this is the design capacity this is the design capacity which you were asked to find design capacity okay one more important thing you need to note here is that the values are in hectare centimeter in days right but our end value is meter cube per second so what we are supposed to do we we before finding this value you need to convert hectares into meter square this centimeter into meter these days into seconds then you will get the answer in meter cube per second so this is what we are asked to find this is our you can call it design capacity or you can also call it design discharge value of canal or you can also call it peak demand okay peak demand discharge now you i hope you understand you came to understand the importance of the value of uh, peak demand discharge design uh, design discharge or design capacity because whenever we are we are uh, asked to design any canal right if someone will ask to uh, design as a canal before starting the design process we must know the value of maximum or peak discharge because on the basis of this peak demand discharge we will be able to design any canal okay so that's the reason we are discussing uh, the peak demand discharge or design capacity of for any canal before going into the before jumping into the uh, proper designing section so this was our problem number one in next video we will solve another problem and after that we will solve 
one more problem so we are going to solve three to four problems related to design capacity of canal then after that we will jump into our proper designing section so for today that's it in next video we will come up with another numerical problem so till then goodbye see you guys in next video with uh, our second numerical problem